So welcome back from the break. You're still watching the Sports Coffee Show right here on uh, Omi Television. Time for us now to bring you another interview with uh, former Dreams FC player Abe Agboji. Yes, sir. but before that, let me just pick this message. It says, good morning, uh, Omi TV Sports. Uh, Bra K, in fact, you people are doing a great job for Madagana. And this morning, my greetings to all Asante Kotoko fans. This is uh, Nana Owusu inside Ashaman. Yes, I say greetings to my only friends inside Ashama Protocol. Oh, 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 one. And it says, God be with you all and your crew. Okay, so Abe. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Sir. How are you doing? Doing great. Okay, so Abe, I see that you've played for quite a number of clubs. Yeah. You've played for Liberty Professionals. You've played for Elite Hunters, Dreams. Yes. You've gone to Togo to play for... Asfosa. A A Asfosa. Asfosa. Okay, Asfosa in yeah. Togo. So now let's look at uh, how it all started okay. for you. Which coast club did you begin with? Okay, um, Dynamo in um, Dynamo FC in Ho. So yes. you started your playing yes. career in Ho, in Ho. Dynamo, Dynamo FC. FC yeah. mm. It was a new club then formed by the current uh, RFA chairman in Ho, okay. Mr. Daniel Aboga. So he he saw me and then gave me the opportunity. So I played for them, and then it got to a point they they um, qualified into like they, they registered for the, the Division Three league in Rota okay. Region. We played and qualified the team into the, uh, Division Two. Okay, and then. When I left there, they qualified and came into the Division 1 and went back to Division 2. Okay. Yeah, by okay. then, I was already with the Liberty Professionals. So how did the, transi the transition from Dynamo to Liberty happen? Uh, okay, what happened was um, this MCN Soccer Academy. Okay. Yeah, I went there and then the, I managed to progress from one thing to the other. And I was supposed to enter the house, the Final 14, they mm -hmm. say. But uh, one coach, I, I can't remember the name, he took me to Jordan Anagbla. Okay, the late Jordan Anagbla. Yeah, the late Jordan Anagbla, may so rest in peace. Mm. And then from there, Jordan introduced me to uh, Mr. Mr. George, Coach George of Liberty, George okay. Lamity. So I went there, I so trained. So Agbe Abuja on your screen? Yes. Abuja, mm. yeah. So I trained with the junior team for some time, I think a few months. Mm. At that time, I think Sly was still alive. Okay. Yeah. So from there, uh, Celestete also came, watched some of my games, and they realized that I had something. Mm. So they gave me the. the so did you play in a league match for Liberty? The the under U20. Okay, so you yeah. played with the U20 yeah, side. We were registered yeah. with the second division. Okay, so I played. Okay, so you played. Mm. I didn't play for the senior team. And then you went to Elite Hunters. Elite Hunters. Yeah. They are also a first division, a second division. They are second division in in Ho -Ho region. Okay, so you went back to, back Ho -Ho. to Ho -Ho. At that time, my career at Liberty was. A bit shaky. So where is this uh, on the screen? Which club? Yeah, that was a uh, Dreams FC uh, junior team. Still believe. Okay. You know, I was with a senior team, but sometimes they you do. They normally bring us because yeah. of my age. Yeah. They bring us back to the junior mm. team to play with them. Okay. For more so how did you end up in Dreams? Who took you there? It was Kurt himself. Okay. Yes. You were scouted by yes. Kurt. Where? He, he just messaged me on Facebook. I was like, he said, let me send him my profile, and I did. Mm -hmm. So he asked me, he gave me uh, Mr. Ibrahim Dossi's number to mm -hmm. call him. And at that time, they, uh, they already qualified into the Premier League. Okay. And the Justify was about to come on. Mm -hmm. So uh, they asked me to come for the Justify. And Siki Akuna was there. They all watched me and then they gave me a contract. They gave you a contract. How, so how long did you stay with Dreams? For three years. For three years. Yes. And you played in the Premier League? Premier League. Mm. And uh, your stay with Dreams, how was it? Um, it was, I would, I would say very good but mm. it was okay but what yeah. made you leave dreams fc um when i got back from togo um the, the so from dreams you had opportunity to go to togo yes i was on loan on i was loan. still a dreams fc okay player. okay yeah. so when i got back from togo they were made to come back to the as for division sir. one the premier uh, dreams was made to come back to division one yes yes that the when they had the issue with yeah. Yeah. Tama Uti, yeah. so when i came back the league had already started okay and then it was clear that i wouldn't be part of the plans Mm. So they made that was the when they made me to join the the junior team, and then as time was going on, CK was also no more there, and then it was now Zito, coach Zito. Mm. So I realized that now nah, I can't waste too much time staying at one place, so I had to move on. That was I didn't have any problem with Dreams FC, yeah. But I just decided. So to you move. moved to 
as Fosa yeah. in, to in Togo. Togo. Yeah, that was just yeah. a w half season loan. Half season loan. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, let's look at growing up. Do you always, or you always had a dream of uh, becoming a footballer? Was that dream always there? Yes, the dream mm. was there right from infancy. Who inspired you? Um, there's this boy. Football? There's this boy from Greece. Okay. I don't know how he ended up in Ghana. Okay. But he he was my classmate in GSS. Okay. At that time, I loved football, but I didn't know really know how to play. Mm. So this boy took me. Anytime he was going for training, he would take me along. And then the first day I watched him play the competitive game in schools, I fell in love with, it, with his style of play. Mm. He was playing from the right flanks. So he was taking me to training from time to time. And then I started developing more interest in the game. And then I realized that I could play. Mm. So I also started playing. And I started as a midfielder. Okay. A central midfielder. When, when I came to And developed into a striker. A, a centre back. A centre back okay. for a while. You played as yeah. a lead striker yes. too for a while. For a while yes. And then you became a centre back. Centre back. Mm. Centre back was with, when I was with Liberty with George Lamte, he saw he said I was more defensive. When I'm playing the Milford, he realized that I'm a more de defensive minded person. So he tried to convert me into a centre back because of my height also. And then since then I've, I've been a centre back. And did you have any call ups to any of the national teams? Yes, uh, when I was with Dreams uh, I was supposed to join the uh, National Under 20 okay. that was under Kojiji Dramani. Okay. But uh, for one reason or the other, I couldn't make it to the camp. And then the week I was supposed to join the camp, they played against Senegal, I think at across, uh, Tema Stadium, and mm -hmm. then they, were, they lost. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't qualify to the next yeah. stage, so it was over. So automatically, I. You, I you didn't have the chance to, yeah, to join. The, the, to but that. Growing up, your parents did you support the idea of you playing football, or initially they said no. Actually, I didn't grow up with my parents. Okay. I grew up, I grew up with a, with, a, with an auntie. Mm. She didn't know much about football, and she always wanted me to go to school. Uh, it was the school, 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 and then sometimes I would have to jump the fence to go to training and come back. And when I get back, I know I'll be punished. But yeah, because I have interest in the game, so I was. So it got to a point where they started to understand that no. They just have to let me go play it again. Mm. So we're having a, a conversation with Abbe Agboji, a former Dreams FC player, played for Liberty Professionals, also the under-20 side, and started his course football with Dynamo Football Club. So let's look at education. Where did you start school? Um, I started school in Aflau. Aflau, okay. Trinity, Trinity International Trinity school. International. Yeah. From there you... And then from there, uh, the, then my mom was staying in Nigeria. Okay. So I moved and with my mom in Nigeria. I schooled, it, I schooled in Nigeria for about two years. And then over there too, I was playing for a club, but mm. it wasn't it was any official. Any it was official. Just, yes. so, and then later I moved back into Ghana and then completed my uh, SHS in, in Ho, okay. Star Senior High School. Okay. Yes. So from there then you focus, focus fully on, on the game. Football. So have you had any stints outside uh, Africa? Um, or any trials or? I've had opportunities to travel outside so many times, even when I was with Liberty. But unfortunately, none of them worked out. Mm. So currently, as we speak, I've never traveled outside Africa to play. To play. Mm. But when you, when you were with Dreams in the league, how, which players were you with? Your playmates? It, then it was very competitive. And when you look mm -hmm. at my position, I look like the smallest okay. among them, the center backs. There was Nash Kwanza, there was Gofeda Santi. There was um, Okran, mm. uh, um, and then uh, Abeku. Abeku Yunusin also joined us yeah. sometime. Uh, it was very competitive. So most of the, the games I played, uh, I was I was made to start from right back or left back because I could I could improve, I could play from either right or left back. So the centre back I didn't really unless I joined the junior team then I yeah. have the chance to play yeah, my natural position. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Let's also look at um, yourself. Okay. Did you make any, any money? Is football financial rewarding? Mm, not really, because mm. the I money is here to come. Yes, I understand that where we are right now, you can't you can't focus too much on money. Yeah, that's. It true. was when I went to Asfosa, you know, they gave me something. Yeah, it was mm. it was okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And then what challenges did you have? A lot of challenges. You go to a time even how to buy my own football boots mm. was a problem. And I, I will always say this, like, all thanks to my mom. 
Yeah. She's been there right from Supporting day one. Supporting the vision Support from day one. Right from day one. Anything I wanted, she would strive to get it for me. And I did, I don't, I, I've made my mind never to give up on this game. Just because I want to make her proud. I want to yeah. make her understand that, yes. She's, it's she's a good decision you made to play football. Yes. Definitely. And it would come to pass. Yeah. So, let's look at that. Uh, yourself so which club are you training with or you are doing personal training yes for now i'm doing a uh, personal training with a, a, a fitness club in tema called jordan fitness okay you know, over there most of these professionals thomas party atama when they come they all train over there and then some of these players who don't have a club especially at the time when the league was not going on mm -hmm. most of the premier players train there and it's a very good platform even this current uh also folks sign uh, uh he was with us in Jordan Fitness, mm, and mm. then he gives professional training. Mm. He has all the equipment, and he's very good. Good training. Yes. So that, that, that has helped you. So, yes. with, are you looking at playing with any local club again, or you, you are eyeing a move outside the, the shores of Ghana? Okay. Or you think you still want to play in the league for some time? Yeah, currently, currently um, I'm under a, a management. Which then, management? Um, it's TIF Sports Management from Belgium. Okay. Yeah. By this agent, uh, Deck. He's called Deck. And uh, they wanted me to sign for one of the clubs in Ghana and play for a while before I move outside. Uh, specifically, Kim Faisal. But it didn't happen because they, they, they decided to work on something else outside. So I'm waiting on them and hopefully very soon I, I might be moving outside. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, which players you look up to, especially on the local scene, Ghanaian players that they inspire you a lot on the local scene jonathan Mensa inspires me a lot okay yes I've, I've watched him i've heard a lot about him i've watched him so is it because times. of the way his stature is and considering the way not your stature is <laughs> so you want to not really about the stature his style mm. of play his style his of play, okay. confidence level he's not the kind of defender who just kicks the ball anyhow mm. he, he's the kind of defender that can build attack from defense and i'm that kind of player too i don't like to play Yes, balloon so the you ball. balloon the ball, yeah, you want to build want, the attack yeah, from, the build, defense, yeah. from defense. What do you make of uh, people who say if you are a defender, then you have to be bulky, you have to be very stout, you don't need to be slim and uh, like yeah. you. Yeah. To, to some extent, they have a point mm -hmm. because it's a very demanding position. You yeah. have to be very physically strong. Sometimes you meet strikers who are very stubborn. Yeah. But 70% of it, I don't, I don't agree with them because being a defender, uh, has to do with having the confidence and then having the ability to play. Defender, a defender with good legs, quick legs, can always make it anywhere. It doesn't matter the size or your strength, your uh, strength in your upper body. No, mm. I believe I believe in playing the football when you, when you are smart. And you know, I also believe that defense is one of the simplest positions to play. Really? Yes, you have to. You just have to keep it safe. We just have to, but yes. you know the demand on that, like you said, defenders is so huge. Yes, because you could get strikers who are coming at you with the mm -hmm. ball. What when you were in, with dreams? Which club was the toughest opponent for you? You played that game. You said, ah, "Wow!" As for today, me uh, papa pa, 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 should, pa, pa. should, should uh, be Liberty professionals against Liberty. Yes, yeah. It was a preseason game. A preseason game. And you lost. Latif, we we played one one, I think. Okay. Latif blessing in that match. I was uh, given the man of the match. I didn't really play from centre back. Mm -hmm. I played from the right back. And okay. Latif blessing was a direct opponent. And wow. He gave me a tough time. A on tough that. time. Like, yeah. And you know he's very skillful. Very Latif skillful. Blessing <laughs> very skillful. Very very skillful. He gave you a, a tough. He gave yeah. me a very tough. Game. So aside Jonathan Mensah, which other Ghanaian player? Um, you look up to in terms of my position yeah but uh, that inspires you your position you draw a lot of inspiration from them okay uh, Jonathan Mensa one uh, this current guy that came Kasim Nuhu I Nuhu. met him once we spoke once but he's not a very close person close pal okay. but I used to watch his game in the Bundesliga and I really like the way he plays mm. mostly when you look at the kind of defenders I mentioned they like to play they like to play the ball they are not the kind of so you are a ball playing yeah, defender, ball playing not defender. the balloon <laughs> defender when the ball comes, you just no. balloon it in there. Sometimes I overdo it and then it, it lands me to trouble. It lands you to trouble. But I just like to play the So ball. you are the Pep Guardiola kind of type of defenders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And now let us look at now when you look at the clubs, the kind of players that are on the scene, what do you make of them? You think now we're producing good players? Yes, fantastic players. Mm. Very good players. Ghana but now people are saying the oh, Ghanaian players are warming benches, we are not playing the top notch leagues and clubs anymore like we used to hear in the time past. Yeah, um for that I will I will contribute to the fact that the league has been out for a long time. And then, just a year. Yeah. For a year, it's a year is quite a long time. Yeah, yeah, it's a long time yeah. anyway. Yeah. So, and when you go to the uh, European scene outside over there, it's, it takes a time to adjust into their system. Mm. It's not, it's not that easy. It takes a lot of work, a lot of hard work. And I can see there are so many players, Ghanaian players outside there who are playing regularly for their clubs. Mm. Maybe we don't hear about them, but a lot of them, mm. even the ones that we claim are warming the bench, uh, they are important players in their clubs. Mm. And I know... I see you have a ring on. Are you married? Yes, I'm, oh, I'm married. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> Great. How come? Because uh, we know footballers usually, they don't yeah, marry. It's, it's yeah. something that surprised a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. Even me, I'm surprised. You're surprised I'm married? Yes. <laughs> How did it happen? Why? The, the, the lady married you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, I've grown up, I've, I've always had it at the back of my mind yeah. that marriage doesn't have to do with how far you have gone in life that's true or your money or that's true. when you meet the right person yeah. you can make a decision so it's an advice to caroline and aisha who are watching <laughs> us yeah mm. Mm. so i met i met her and then she's been so good mm. and i realized that supported your career yes. she understands she the understand, game she understands everything i do she supports me mm. you have and children and yet yeah i have a, a daughter just five months old oh yes. that's that's so nice yeah. congrats thank you now let us look at the future for you what are the aspirations so what clubs do you want to play for you want to move to europe yeah what are the projections mm, every every player's dream is to move to especially from africa yeah in ghana too we have a lot of, the players have a lot of big aspirations at, in terms of playing in europe and all that not specifically europe because right now football has has grown, grown very very big and then everywhere you go you can you can be able to play good football so i i I, I do aspire to, to travel outside the shores of Ghana or Africa and continue my, my career over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Now, which clubs? You mean in Europe? Yeah, in Europe. Mm, like I said, uh, my agency... Oh, Europe is Europe. Europe is Europe, Europe? Yes. <laughs> Europe is, even if it's Asia, I don't mind. Yeah, my, yeah. my agency is working on, 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 on something, something for now. Mm -hmm. uh, location has not been disclosed yet, but I believe very soon. Mm. the news will be out here yeah. and as a footballer have you had issues with injury or god has been gracious that injuries you've stayed very fit mm, i've had just one serious injury it, it took me out out of the game for almost three to four months that was with liberty professional wow and this game was against cheetah fc on my on my right knee mm. and then uh, because of that injury it forced me to learn how to play with the left Okay. So now when you, when you see me playing, you can't tell whether I'm a lefty or I'm a right. I can use both, both legs. That's why sometimes in dreams I'm made to play at the left back. Mm. But I, I, I'm a, the dominant foot is the right. It's the right, right foot, but you're also good. Yeah. The left yeah. So now you are very fit, yes, good very, to go. Very fit. So does it mean because of the agency that you are with, you are not open for negotiations for any local club or they can still come for negotiations? Oh, I am, oh, I am open to negotiations because if any interest should come, mm. I'll just have to inform my agency about it and then they look at it. But personally, them. aside dreams, which other club would you want to play for again locally? Aside dreams, because I, I still I, want to play I, for I dreams. I admire clubs that believe in young 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 talents okay yeah, then they believe their philosophy the game they believe in playing good football clubs like uh, wafa entire lies liberty professionals yeah and then recently you know i have a very good relationship with uh, the legend as mm. and then he he made me to go to train with a uh, fire rangers division one mm. where coach duncan is currently the, yeah. the coach and then they they wanted me but unfortunately negotiations didn't didn't go the way i expected so I couldn't. And he, he was talking about Kotoko, but when he mentioned Kotoko, I, I got scared a bit. Oh, because one, Kotoko of is big, huge. <laughs> one of the biggest clubs in the in Ghana. And right now, my, my, my focus is on getting more playing time, mm. rather than money or fame. Or I just want to play because I've been out for quite some time. Yeah. And I want where I can play good football. I can play, I can keep be given the chance to play uh, all the time so that I can, mm. I can come back to mm. the top form. Mm. 
Abe, not a lot of players, even though you haven't got into the apex of your career yet, but at least you've gone through the ranks. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that contributed to where you are now that you want to share with up and coming players? Because now everybody wants to be a star quickly. They want to be snap their finger and then jack their day. What has brought you this far? Okay, uh, I'm, I'm the kind of person I, I believe a lot. I believe a lot. So for your faith, you yes, believe? I believe. I believe a lot. Sometimes the things I believe in, sometimes they even scare me. Mm. But I believe that I can get to any point in life. Mm. And I'm always dedicated to my career. Even now that I'm, I've, I've not been with any club for a while now, I train like something is at stake. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't joke with my training. I'm always, I'm always making sure that I'm ready for any opportunity that will come. Because when the opportunity comes and I'm not ready, then I have myself to blame. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for, for, for what I can say is my, my dedication to the game, humility, wherever I go, I, I'm always humble. My, I give respect to those who are in authority because I know they have the, the power to change lives, to change your life, to change your career, to move your career to the next stage. They are giving us a platform to play. So if you don't show respect, it, it won't go well. So uh, for, for, for me, I'll say dedication, hard work, respect, and then a uh, lot of prayers has got that's me awesome. this that's far. You this far. Yes. Yeah. And uh, mentors, which, which people are, you've mentioned as Samwajan. Yes. Who else? Someone Is he a mentor? He's a personal, big, like a big brother to me. Okay. Yes. We, we, uh, a friend of mine invited me to play. He's called Sadiki at uh, Accra Academy. Okay. So at that time, Samwajan was around. So after we played finish and then he just approached me and asked me if I'm playing for any club. And I was like, no, you know, most of the time when I tell people that I don't have a club, and yeah. I've not even been to Europe before, they, they are surprised because mm. they, they watch me play and they're like, no, I don't deserve to stay at home. So he gave me his number. But you get discouraged? Never. I've never They're looking at your potential and uh, whilst people are saying, no, you don't deserve to be here, but here you are yeah. here, a local player, even not currently attached to any mm. professional Club, club, it doesn't discourage you. Never, it does. I've never for once been discouraged mm. because I, I believe in what I have and I believe in what I can do when I'm given the mm. platform. It's just a matter of time. You know, sometimes when you look at things, how things have been slow in your life, you you might be tempted to get discouraged and say, no, I can't continue like this. But for me, I've, like I said, I believe a lot. I believe that there are better days ahead, and then I know. I'm just waiting for the right opportunity and I'm always trying to put myself in shape so that when the opportunity comes, you grab, grab it, it and make good use of it. Yes. Now, as a young footballer, your former boss, Kurt, is now the FA president. FA president. Well, so far, what do you make of his uh, reign? Uh, I was very, when he uh, became the pre have you contacted him? Yes, I, I, was, I sent him a congratulatory message on mm -hmm. WhatsApp mm -hmm. and I, I don't, because he's been busy, I don't think he's, he's seen the message yet. I tried mm -hmm. to call him so many times and He's, he's not been able to answer. Yeah. But I know my Facebook messages are tagged him. I know he's seen yeah. the messages here. And I, I was very happy to hear that. What do you yeah. expect from him that he should do so, to improve the game? What I expect from him is what he's already doing. Okay. So far, so good. So, so far, what's he doing? He's <laughs> like, generally, he has brought the love back. Okay. You know, the, love, the love is back. Yeah, the love is back. You know, <laughs> looking at the recent Kotogo has game, yeah, like the stadium was. sold out. I was, I was so surprised. Mm. I was like, and then the discipline aspect of the game, like he's, he's, br he's brought some discipline back into the Ghana football. Mm. When you mess up, they, they deal with you. That is that is what the game needs mm. because if if we allow anybody to do what they like, it, it can't go forward. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm very impressed with how far he has gone so mm. far, and I pray that God will strengthen him and give him right connections so that yeah. he can take the. the and as away. a young player, how? Would you describe the relationship with these clubs? Do you say the clubs are cheating players? Do you think the players are having a, a say? Or you think the players are underrated, young players with these clubs? Okay, from my personal experience, mm -hmm. uh, the biggest club I play, I've played so far is Dreams FC. Mm. And then when I was there, I didn't, I didn't feel cheated. Mm. Players, we did, we did have a say. Yeah. Uh, play, we did have a say in terms of what we want, we, we basically our salaries, they were always on time. And then whenever you had any grievances, you could channel it directly to uh, the club president through 
the right uh, channels. Channel. Yeah, and then everybody mm. was listening to. So mm. I don't know of other clubs, but from what I've experienced personally with Dreams FC, which I believe other clubs are doing the mm. same. Uh, sometimes it, it, can, it can go the other way around. Yeah. Right? Sometimes players can have issues with clubs. It, it does happen. It's, it's life, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. But so far, from what I've experienced with Dreams FC, like, yeah, so, so good. Yeah. yeah. So now that you are not attached to any club, how do you survive? Um, it's been my my mom and then little businesses that I've you are into business. Yeah, I, what business? I'm the, I'm the kind of person like when I get more money, I want to, I want okay. to invest into something. You no, know, there are so many things people do now. You can even get a small car and start your Uber business. So you have something. an Uber business. Yes, I have one wow, food. that's that's, that's, that's so, so, so 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 great. Yeah. yeah. So those things are sustaining, sustaining the family for now. For now. Okay. Yes. Your final words, time for us to go. Okay. Finally, mm. I, would, I would just love to say a big thank you to everybody. Yeah. Especially those who have uh, impacted my life one way or the other. Now that I don't have a club, Jordan Fitness has been there in terms of my fitness level. It gives me good training, always checking up on me, making sure I'm in a competitive game sometimes. Uh, thanks to my family, my wife, my mom. They've been very supportive. Um, Asamoa Jan always giving me advices on how to do, what to go, where to go, and how to do in life. Always trying to look for opportunities for me. I'm very grateful. Yeah. And then a little advice uh, to people. I know when you go to my Facebook page, there are so many young guys. Okay, so how do they get to follow you on uh, social media quickly? Is okay, it Kwame Agboji? No, Abe Agboji on Facebook. Abe. Okay, Abe Agboji. Yeah, Abe Agboji on Facebook. On Facebook. On Instagram to Abe Agboji. Abe Agboji. Yes, yeah. On Instagram. Okay. Yeah. So once they hit you up, they, they get to get to all the advice yes. and stuff from uh, Abi Aboji. Abi, wish you the very best. Thank you very much. And we will follow your exploits. Amen. And we know the sky is just the beginning for you. Amen. Okay. Thank you. So that's where we'll have to draw the curtains down on this week's production. God willing, next week we'll be back with another exciting moment on the Sports Coffee Show. On behalf of the team, we want to say thank you very much. Caroline, uh, Papani, Nanakwami, MCR, all the guys, I can't mention all the names. Thank you very much for being part of the production. Next week, God willing, we'll be back with more with a big bang. Stay positive, keep hope alive, and keep watching Omi Television. Bye-bye for now.